My name is First Sergeant Simon Sandoval, and I've been in the Marine Corps for 18 years now. The first time when I was in Iraq, I, I didn't lose a single Marine out there. I went in with 48 Marines and then came home with 48 Marines. We had a big uh, celebration, we were home, everybody was happy. I did my second deployment to Operation Iraqi Freedom 2, where my platoon had the big battle against the Mahdi militia for the Imam Ali Mosque for the Holy City of Najaf. Some Marines in my platoon were seriously wounded, and two Marines were lost in combat. It hit me pretty hard. I would think about it, you know, how did everything get so messed up? You know, was it my fault? You know, could I have done this differently? A lot of things were going through my head, and then I, I found myself just uh, started pulling away from my family. I didn't really spend much time with my children. And when I was with them, I, uh, I didn't find myself as the same person I was before I left. So I found myself drinking a lot more, you know, uh, not caring about physical fitness, you know. And then I started losing Marines again. Now this time it was Afghanistan and uh, the emotions started building up again. You could always see there was something that was buried down deep inside that he wanted to talk about, but he just didn't know how to get it out. When we were at Oscar training on how we're going to train other Marines that people are dealing with operational stress or uh, post-traumatic stress, that it's okay to, to seek help. And he was like, you know, Brian, I think I have some problems. And uh, at that point, that's when we both laid everything out. And we just sat there for a couple hours just talking about all the Marines he served with, where he's been at, some of the Marines that he still remembers today. Sharing my experiences teaching Oscar training, it, it made me feel better. You know, if it's just one Marine out here, one devil dog or sailor, I help to go and seek help or just to talk to somebody, then I'm doing something good. For him personally, it's therapeutic. And I think by talking about it, it helps. It helps him as a, as a person. But on the flip side, the Marines he's talking to benefit as well. I think that helps them have some faith in the institution that if he can talk about this, then there's nothing that would stop me from doing it as well. And that if he was going to go get help, then I certainly could too. Having a CEO that I can go to and peers and you know friends that I've had for a long time, that's very helpful for me to be able to reach out to them. But they're there also to say, I got your back. The mental aspect of telling them about my experiences, I felt like a weight had been lifted off my back. And then the physical with jujitsu, I started noticing a difference in me that uh, I was calmer, I was talking to my kids more often. <laughs> I love being a Marine, but nothing is much better than being with my family. And having my sons or my daughter with me, you know, we're able to talk and I could have a beautiful day just being a father. You know, a Marine that goes out and seeks help, I think has more courage than somebody who doesn't. You know, you come to your chain of command, come and knock on my hatch and you can talk to me. It's okay. Talk to your chaplain. You know, you have the vet centers here that are around your local areas. And there's always somebody out there to assist you and to, you know, lessen the burden that you've gone through in combat. I have lost Marines in combat and I feel the way that I honor them is I'm going to live better for them. You know, I'm going to earn every moment that I have that I am still alive and tell the stories and always keep them in my memory. But uh, at the same time, move on with my life and say, you know what, if I start going back to the wrong path, you know, what would my devil dogs that, you know, gave their lives the ultimate sacrifice, you know, what are they going to, how are they going to look at me? Whereas if I start going down this path, which is the right path, and I start helping others, I think if they would look at me and say, you know what, that was the man that led me into combat, and that's exactly what I would want him to do. Thank you.